Okay, guys, so I have added my shares of Tesla to the Make It Rain portfolio. So I've got 20 shares now. I bought 19, around 227 was my average. And I just bought one more because it was just irking me that I didn't have the 20. So I bought one at uh, yesterday at 3.30. I had some extra cash I had saved. And so now I'm at 20. And we're having a good day today. The markets are up. Um, the American markets are up. As the Canadian ones are too. But I don't know why. Because the Americans had a... Uh, what, 188,000 jobs created uh, in November. Um, and we, on the other hand, the Canadians, uh, we lost 71,000 jobs. So the analyst said that we were supposed to be up 10,000. Nope. We're down 71,000 jobs. So that's not good. Uh, the banks uh, have been having an issue. So I've got, oh, I, I do have banks in my other portfolio. This is just my make it rain one. So this is speculative growth, high yield, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm having a good day. I'm up 246 bucks, uh, 1.11% on this portfolio. Um, but there's some stinkers in here. <laughs> there's one stinker. I'll, I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about when we see it. Guess what the stinker is before I get there. Um, okay, so yeah, we've got our Tesla. Things are on the move. Um, if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you know I'm a a Tesla shareholder. Let's just go to the stock here. I believe in the company. I know Musk is going through some tough times right now, but he'll he'll do okay. Okay, so and it's not really that big of a deal. Seventy-five thousand dollars is what the thing's about. So let's look at the max. So this is when you wanted to buy one eighty-five. I was broke at the time and decided to buy right around here, two twenty-five-ish, is when I bought. Um, I'm not going to sell it. I I used to sell when it would hit a 52-week high. Um, the 52-week high is right down here. It's 52-week range. Um, so that's when you wanted to buy it at 176. And it's hit 379 in the past, which would be... Where? Around here? Around here? 361? It must be around here somewhere. Sometimes they briefly hit like 379 for like an hour. And so then that's the tops. But it looks like you could have easily sold around the 360 mark here. 355 you could have sold. Uh, another chance here at 350. And now could be a selling time, selling point, but I don't think so. I'm holding this for the long term. Even if it dropped back down to 185, uh, here it hit 189, uh, 191, and 188. It looks like there's a good support there. If it breached 185, I'd be scared, uh, but I probably would be buying if it went lower than this. Like I said, they've got the Chinese plant there. Um, Sheng, Sheng, Shen. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say that. I don't, I don't even know where. I don't even know if that's right. It's in China somewhere. Uh, there's a plant. They're going to be making uh, Model 3s, perhaps the Ys. Uh, electric is the future. Um, car companies are having... Traditional car companies are having a heck of a time. They're letting everyone go. This is a dis disruptor stock, so it's part of my make it rain portfolio. Uh, let's go to the other ones in here. Okay, so this one is... Oh, there's a story to tell about this one. Canopy growth. It's up today. I do believe in this, this sector. Um, I think there's money to be made. Uh, Ontario hasn't been roll, uh, rolling out enough stores. We're the biggest province in all of Canada, yet we've got 24 stores. Um, other provinces have, you know, a hundred, hundreds. Uh, so that's sort of really clamped down on our profits. Let's look at the stock here. Uh, today's a good day, but it's been a rough... You know, look at the six months. So if you're buying in June at 57, you've lost half your capital capital in that in in that in those shares i have trouble talking here i got a coffee i'm gonna drink right after this um let's go back so i do believe in this sector i i'm hoping things pick up uh with the with these stocks here we got abvi i mentioned that last video i believe 
And that stock has been fantastic. Again, I'm going to thank PPC Ian, uh, who put it on my radar. And I was buying around, around here when he recommended it on his videos. On YouTube, just put in PPC Ian. He's a dividend investing guy. He plays it pretty safe. Uh, but anyways, he recommended it around here, so I piled up. And I've made, I think, 25% gains on it. Plus, I've locked in um, the yield at, I think it was like 6.7% yield when I was buying. And they just upped their dividend by 10%. Um, not that it would add to that, but I mean, just... So if you're, let's say you're getting $200, you're getting an additional uh, $20 uh, next year type deal. Uh, if that makes any sense, I can explain it in the comments if you're confused by it, but it's called a dividend growth. And it basically means the company's going to keep jacking up the the dividend um, as things get better. So uh, anyways, ooh, that's nasty. All right, let's go back. Oh, I'm down a little bit. Ooh, that's okay. Um, I may buy some more stocks today. Uh, I have a check coming in, so we'll see. Bad day to buy when everything's green. You want to buy in the red, if possible. Um, also, let's see, I've added two shares to my Alibaba. Um, the thing with Baba that I like, see, I usually have plans. Tesla, I just think they're going to go up and up and up. Um, it's a disruptor. It's um, every Everyone is caught with their pants down, and the company is do, doing fantastic, and I think it's going to continue to grow. Uh, this, uh, as um, you know, uh, these stocks do well in uh, in the states. Once it gets legalized, then uh, they could pop uh, pharmaceuticals. That's cool. Now, Baba, it is now available on the Hong Kong market, so there was a bit of a pop there. And then after seven months, I think it can get onto the Chinese stock markets, and uh, then expect the people to buy those shares um, but it's a huge company um, and I'm bullish on them now this is my stinker it's up today again I'm sure they're a great company uh, but they have not been doing well let's check out the chart okay so yeah today's fine but look at this six month it's downhill so if you want to lose your money you're investing at let's go to the year so people are buying it here at 14 bucks. Now it's at four dollars and fifty-three cents. The dividend on it is amazing. It's 26.8 percent on your money, but it just keeps going down and down and down. So you're losing your capital. So it's tough to invest in. I think I bought at around six, um, and it was at like 18 or something, 18 percent of my money. You know, I throw a little bit in this just for fun. I know they're buying back shares. Uh, I, I might throw in a little bit more, but I've lost but like probably 130 bucks on the, on that investment. So that one was a bit of a stinker. I don't really recommend that too much. Let's see, I'm, I'm probably down about 170 bucks just on that one pick. Now they've paid me a dividend, uh, so that's good, but I'm still, this one I'm, I'm down on. The rest of them, uh, weed.to, I'm down a bit on that. I think I was buying at 36. And I've been aver averaging down on it. I'm up big on Tesla. I'm up big on Abvi. Uh, Bob, I was buying at 185, so I'm up on that. This is my stinker. Uh, but I still probably will buy some. At, it's ridiculous. They're probably going to cut the dividend. I know it. They're going to, but I just want to throw a little bit of money in there for fun. And now this one, I'm... Now, there's one big winner here we're going to hit in a second. I like these guys for a million. They've never missed a dividend payment. Uh, I've put $1,000 into them, um, and I'm at $968 right now. Now, but I've been paid every month, so they're paying a dividend on that 1000 So what, what would that be? Let's check this out. Uh, let's go up here. So like a 14% uh, dividend on it. Let's say 14 So I think I was buying around 20 I bought some at 1950 So we'll go $1,000. Uh, times, uh, let's say 0.14, 14%. So that's $140 a year that they're going to give me divided by 12. That's $11.66 a month. I think I've owned it for about, uh, I don't know, maybe three months. 
So times three. All right, so 35 bucks I've got paid already. And let's look at B. I may be down on this. So <laughs> I'm just over even. I'm at $1,000 and $1,005. Um, so this one I'm at even, which I've been holding for three months. I guess, I don't know. As long as it holds its own here, I'm fine. I just, I don't want it to go down anymore. It was at $18 just the other day. I should have bought some more of that. Um, I'm still sort of bullish on these guys. It went down, see, so it's spiked up because of today's news. But yeah, you could have bought this at $18.29. And let's see. But usually it's playing around the between $19 and $20. So there was a big dip here. I should have bought that. Um, and it seems like it's going back up. So that will be interesting to watch. I, so I haven't really made any money on that, really, because I bought, uh, I paid a $10 commission, right? So I used a bank to buy it. So yeah, I'm probably like even or down five bucks. But I still might put some more in there. As long as they just keep paying that and it stays the same, I'm okay with that. Just don't go down anymore, <laughs> please. Now this is what I'm really bullish on. Uh, I just bought 22 additional shares yesterday. And this is Chemtrade. So, and they've paid their dividend through the last recession. And I like these guys because I'll show you. They're, this is the six month. So it's going up. So, you know, I'm adding uh, money to cap my capital gains, what I have in there. And they're also paying like 11% dividend. So these guys are a winner in my eyes. Now, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take my advice. This is just for entertainment. Crazy. Crazy cash flow is what I call it because it could uh, I could lose a lot of money and you guys can see whether I lose or win. Um, I'm curious too. <laughs> All right, so there's the five years. So it looks like hopefully things have stabilized. The bottom was there at 875 and hopefully it looks like the trend is your friend. Like look at this thing. It is slowly working its way up. And these guys uh, deal with sulfuric acid and different niche chemicals that companies need. Especially for like uh, companies like water treatment, that type of thing. Um, so anyways, yeah, I like these guys. I'm going to put more and more money into them until they fail me or they continue to succeed. Um, yeah, I'm super bullish on Chemtrade right now. Um, okay, so let's go to Pizza Pizza. Now, it's a lot like Vermilion Energy where it will go between um, like 9 and $10. So let's look at the six month. Yeah, it seems to fluctuate 10.23. The low was 9.37. The high was 10.30. The low was 9.25. So it seems to just sort of go through, uh, just sort of up and down, up and down. Not too big on the trend here at the end. Uh, let's look at the maximum. Uh, but hopefully we've hit a bottom and things can pick up. Uh, now a recession, I've told many people this, may help the stock because people don't go out as much when you don't have as much cash. Uh, now look at Canada losing 71,000 jobs. Maybe you don't want to go to Boston Pizza. Uh, you don't want to go out. It's going to be too expensive. You have to give a tip and whatnot. Uh, maybe you just want to stay home and order, uh, you know, cheap pizza. Uh, but good. It's good. You know, it. Anyway, so that's my third sort of uh, opinion on Pizza Pizza. I own how many shares? So let's go Pizza Pizza, 74 shares. Um, so let's look at the dividend. Here's 86 cents. So uh, let's get rid of this. 74 times. So Pizza Pizza pays me $63.64 a year. They pay monthly, divided by 12. So every month I get $5.30 in my bank account, uh, in my trading account there, and I can just Take it out of there and spend it. I know it's not a lot, but let's uh, also check out. Let's see the new total on Chemtrade. So I have 51 shares, and they pay out $1.20 per year. Uh, so 51 times $1.20. $61 divided by 12. Yeah, they're monthly pay payer as well. Another five bucks. So there's $10 from Pizza Pizza, $10, sorry, five bucks? Yeah, five and five. 
So that's ten dollars just coming from those guys every month. Um, that basically pays for like one trade, right? Like my like commission. But uh, and we've got hot. Oh, I didn't even talk about hot. I think I bought uh, like a little bit. I had some in one of my retirement saving plans, and I just bought a few shares just because I had cash sitting there, and I said, ah, what the heck. So there was a bit of a pop here. Let's look at the trend. So the bottom was 664, 642. Um, so it seems to be going sideways. Uh, if you own here, you wouldn't be happy here. But hopefully we found a bottom and uh, it, will, it will go up. Yeah, I don't like that trend. Um, but they just bought 12 premium branded hotels. They pay a 12.6% dividend. So it's uh, 86 cents. And how many shares are there? 83. So let's go 83. Times, what was it? 86 cents. So they pay me 71.38. And they're monthly payer. So they pay me $5.94. So like six bucks. And with the other two, with Pizza Pizza, uh, and the other one, Chemtrade. So there's uh, six and then 10 and what are we at? 16 bucks. So just from those, $16. So that one, that one, that one. I have $1,000 in this. Did we figure this one out already? No, two, $2.76. They pay me $2.76. Six. Uh, da, 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 times 50. 2.76 times 50. Times 2.76. 138 divided by 12, they are a monthly payer. Okay, so 11.50. Did I already figure this out? Feels like deja vu. Uh, so plus the 16, roughly. So just those companies are paying me $27.50 a month. These guys, 55, they're not monthly, but they, I have 55 shares at $1.23. Uh, I gotta remember that, okay. I'm losing it, I'm losing my mind. Anyways, I could go through the whole thing. You guys know how to do this if you want to do it. I'm just, I guess, wasting time here. Uh, I like looking through my stocks, it's fun. Uh, of course, Tesla doesn't pay anything. Uh, Weed doesn't, dot TO doesn't pay anything. Abby certainly does. Um, they pay. Now again, it's it says 5.41%, but I get paid more because I bought it when it was cheaper. So this changes. But the money doesn't change. So I guess, uh, yeah, you just, well, this just tells you that that's what they pay you. $4.72 um, times 28. Times. Now, PPP, <laughs> PPC Ian is, uh, so I get $132 US. Uh, that's not a dividend. That's, uh, I'll get quarterly, right? So it'll be divided by four. So I get paid $33 every three months uh, with them. Uh, anyways, guys, do you have any questions about these stocks? Do you guys own any of this stuff? Um, I look, In the future, I will probably buy more Tesla, especially if it goes down. Uh, Canopy, I will, I'm going to be adding to that. Abvi, PPC, Ian is still buying this. He still thinks it's a good deal uh, because of the the future P-E ratio. Um, wow, this is actually saying the P-E ratio is 40. But he has it calculated that it's like 10. So something's up there. Maybe it's the future P-E ratio? That's odd that that's 40. I don't know if that's right. I trust P-P-C-E. Uh, I can barely say that. Baba, I will continue to add to Baba. I'll throw a little bit of money in there to probably bring that up to 500 again. And because uh, <laughs> just as an experiment, because like what the you're getting paid twenty six point eight percent, and I know they're buying up shares uh, as well. Share buybacks. I I'm neutral on these guys, uh, but I throw some more money in there as a test. Um, that would break my rule of going over a thousand per sh per company. So I want to spread it. Uh, we got Chem Trade. I would put more into that. I'm up on this on this position and it's great so this is the winner right here 
Uh, again, don't take my advice. I'm not a financial advisor. The stock market is a crazy beast. Uh, go up and down and all around. Um, also, Pizza Pizza, I would have more to that. That's been paying me $5 a month for since I've owned it since last year. Um, and these guys seem to be turning it around too. But right now, Chemtrade is my favorite out of these as far as paying high yield pairs. And I've got some favorite uh, growth stocks in here. Guys, what do you think? Do you own any of these stocks? Uh, what? Do you, give me some recommendations. I know Boston Pizza uh, has been mentioned to me twice. I actually, I am tempted to buy it. I, I love like uh, restaurant income uh, trusts because I'll show you something real quick. Um, the payout ratio on these things used to scare me. Uh, yeah, hundred percent payout ratio. That means all the money coming in gets paid back out to the dividend to the shareholders. Uh, but this is not the company. This is a, a trust. Um, so each company is paying into this trust. There's really not that many employees, just like a few just to manage this thing. And it's supposed to be at 100. So this could be scary, but it's supposed to be. The same thing with Boston Pizza. Let's go to it. And I may buy some because I see those stores everywhere. I, I get the business. Uh, they're all over the place. Um, I think they're a great company. They're paying ten dollars and twenty cents. Um, I think a recession pizza pizza will be better, but I wouldn't mind throwing some of this into my make it rain portfolio. What do you guys think? I may buy some of this. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, so it fell off the rails here for some reason. Um, yeah, as customers tighten their belt, any restaurant stocks, stocks worth an investment. Um, I don't know. That's a little unnerving but again some of these high yielders uh well, yeah it's sort of dropping off a cliff right there so if i had bought that i'd be down big but hey look at entero midstream i'm down on that too and it's not scaring me off so have we hit a bottom here this was uh december 14 and it broke through resistance it looks like so do they, this must be a newish stock that's the maximum is this a new stock guys do you guys know um, because look, yeah, it looks like the, I'm at the max and it looks like it started recently. That's weird. Okay. I, I still would buy some of it at 10.2% and hopefully I'm buying it at the bottom right here. Uh, I may buy some today. We'll see. What do you guys think? I hope I didn't bore you guys to tears looking through my portfolio. There's some takeaway from it. Please like this. Uh, if you are into dividend stocks or even the growth stocks. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Please subscribe as well. I will share all my my losers and my winners with you guys, but please subscribe and hit that bell. Uh, and I appreciate comments. The comments keep me releasing these videos. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. And uh, comment below. Say hi. Tell me what you're into. And cheers, guys. Bye.